Okay, based on your email. Made some changes to the design. I've added door styles here. Um, looking at this photo, maybe it's okay to have a 24 deep cabinet. Um, I don't. I think that's what this is. Maybe if it is, and I might want to make an adjustment uh, because the, I don't know what the depth of this refrigerator is. But my goal is to hide the carcass of the refrigerator. Um, and usually, a refrigerator's carcass is about 29 inches before you start hitting the doors. So I've got a panel over here that's 30 inches. I got a panel over here that's 30 inches. Then I got the decorative doors on the panel. Another way to do it is a wainscot panel, which is a little nicer. Uh, usually, usually a little more money. I can show you pictures of what that is. I can show you pictures of both the plant-on door, which is what you have today, and the wainscot panel that I've uh, done in the past. Now, you asked for rollout trays here, which is fine, it, particularly if you already have them. Uh, but my experience is that rollout trays get a little on the skinny side <coughs> in a cabinet that's 15 inches wide. Same goes for the 12 inch wide cabinet which I've put rollout trays in you can see there. I've also put rollout trays in this cabinet here next to the stove. Let me highlight my mouse. Again, that's 15 inches, so a 12 inch rollout tray ends up being about 10 and a half inches wide of storage, storage space. I think you could talk me into doing it with an 18 wide cabinet, which is what we have here. Rollout trays here. That's what the ROT stands for, rollout tray. And the WD stands for dovetail, wood dovetail. But here's what I do with the island. This is uh, this would be the uh, trash cabinet, a double trash cabinet, and then this would be a cabinet with two big doors. I wouldn't uh, make these two cabinets because you just lose storage space, and it's probably more money. Uh, so I did a cabinet that's 36 wide with two big doors, drawers I should say. Let me show you this in 3D. So nothing's really changed except for I've added these door styles. Now, I don't know if you want to run the door styles all the way around the island on three sides. I did the sides of the island. And then I did this uh, base cabinet over here next to the stove. But the island looks like this now. So an 18 inch double trash, two big drawers, 36 wide, and then an 18 inch with two rollouts and a drawer on top. This trash cabinet also has a working drawer on top. When I make those changes, which I th think I've got all the ones you want, this is what happens to the price. So, if, you, if it's okay to reduce the size of this panel because you already have a refrigerator that doesn't have such a deep carcass then I can adjust that but the other thing I like to do is I like to have the countertop butt into the side of the panel and not go beyond the panel if I'm making myself clear so if I made this cabinet this panel 24 inches deep which might be how, how it is today and this countertop being 25 and a half inches deep would go a little bit uh, beyond the panel I'm I don't I don't like the looks of that so I usually make panels that are deeper anyways Let me know if I have if you have any questions or would like to see some changes.